Hi, today I will be sharing with you how to download Favicon from websites. What is Favicon? So as, let's look at this example. Uh, open the website. It's called digitalmarketer.com. So this is a, a company by Ryan Dice, uh, one of the big marketing personality here in the world. Ryan Dice and he created this company called Digital Marketer. And as you can see here at the tab, on top of the tab, there's this small little icon. I don't know if you can see it now. At the left hand side, there's one picture of green and red gear. That is what you call a favicon. So, for example, if you don't have any favicon, it will just look, um, it doesn't look like G, you look like you just have a circle round uh, earth like thing. So, it doesn't look nice. So, having favicon, so when you have a lot of tabs, right? If you have Favicon, it's easy for people to know that uh, which site they're looking at and it looks more professional or not. Imagine you have a lot of tabs, then you just cannot see which is which. Having this Favicon will help to give personality to the website and it's something that's quite important as well to have uh, to make sure your sites look professional. And why do you need to download this? So for like my case, if I were to do um, funnel hacking, uh, for example, if I were to do a new funnel for my customers so some of my customers they have their website ready but they don't have like the proper funnel to channel their leads or channel their sales in and if i were to build a funnel for them i want my funnel to look professional as well so i need that funnel mm, or that website uh, or the landing page okay in case you're not familiar about funnels so funnels uh, there's many meaning of funnels but in in the context that i'm talking about when i mean funnel means like a proper way that the audience where they see what they will do, what they will see. So when I, for example, if I will take landing pages, so landing page is a part of a funnel. So for example, if I were to build a landing page for my customer, I want my landing page to look absolutely good as well, look professional as well. And that is the reason why I need to put the Favicon there as well. I can put a general Favicon, but of course, if I have their Favicon, which they already have in their website, to so we put it into my into the planning page that I built for them, it will look better. It will look like they will be, you will gel up and you will follow the the design the design style of their website. So that it does, so that when people see, people know that you it, it is congruent the landing page and their website. Okay, let's jump into it. So how do you download this Fabicon? Okay, one way of course you can directly ask the customer or ask uh, anyone else to give you that thing but most of the time you tell them what is favicon they don't know so that's why i explained favicon is this small little icon on top when you open your browser it's at the top left side so it is there and and because of that uh, some people do not know so when they have their web developer do for them they may not know that they have this design so we have to take it ourselves if we have to take it ourselves you just have to go to this website google.com slash s2 slash favicons question mark domain underscore url equals to if you do launch this url you get nothing right however you take this url digitalmarketer.com and you put behind this dot url so i'll put this link in the description box below so no worries on that so i put it here and then i press enter and then you see this small little thing is a favicon all you have to do is just right click save as and then you just save the image in the whatever file that you want to. So this is how you can download a Fabricon from websites. I hope this is useful for you. Kindly subscribe to support this channel like mine so that I can keep on producing content and feel free to message or hit me up in my social media, put comment in the description box below and yeah, to see you again in my next video. Goodbye.